Misinformation Harry, otherwise known as Enemy of the Truth Harry, I think I'm going to start calling him Enemy of the Truth Harry, Yankee Wally, Murky Meg, and according to Taz. So, I was supposed to put something out about this last night, but I, uh, my plans changed, so I wasn't. But I'm kind of glad that that happened. Because some, some more things have now come out that make Prick Harry look even worse. I mean, you just don't even think that it's possible. But that's our Prick, uh, enemy of the truth, Harry. In regards to, and it was just going to be about Yankee Wally. It was just going to be about her. But then, you know, some more things have come out today. So this involves all three of these women. So I want to talk about a couple of the headlines today and then take you through a timeline and then end and then at the end I'll tie it all together and shows it how it affects these women women and I have to tell you when I was putting all of this stuff together the amount of lies and myths truths mistruths and um confusion probably that's on purpose was is dizzying and I'm not using that as a figure of speech I was actually like dizzy trying to like put this together to show you guys it, it, it's 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 incredible it's incredible so the first uh headline here it says prince harry wins court fight to keep documents secret in home office uk security row good for you prick way to go Thank you. Thank you. Doing my part to continue to fight on for this. And thank you to everyone out there, civilian, military, otherwise. So another headline, legal fight. Meghan Markle, latest news. Prince Harry wins fight to keep security row details secret after his not safe in UK claim. Okay, so we want his fight to keep it secret. But Yesterday, or the day before, which I can't remember if it was yesterday or the day before. Yesterday, it comes out that Prick Harry is suing the mail on Sunday for saying that he's trying to keep, or he tried to keep his legal fight over the bodyguards a secret. So, he wins his case today to keep it a secret but two days ago a day ago he's he, he's filed paper they're suing the daily mail for saying that he tried to keep his fight over bodyguards a secret i mean who, uh, who's running that show over there maybe is he running it because you know i mean uh, who is running that show i just it's like oh oh Okay, <laughs> so that's another part of his lawsuit that is now going to get thrown out the window, I would think. You know, I'll put that video I did in the video description box because he's claiming that he's in mental anguish and embarrassed and feels shame that, you know, blah, blah, blah. But then he's out in public doing things that, you know, doesn't act like somebody that feels ashamed. Now, he wins his court ba battle to keep it a secret, but he's suing them for saying that he was trying to keep it a secret, so... Make it make sense, misinformation. Make it make sense. So then it's come out now that his lawyer has been asked to apologize to the judge for something they did in this case. By the written by the American Scooby Jack Royston. Today. Eleven 28 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So Prick Harry's lawyer, and I don't know what leak they're talking about. I haven't gotten that far yet, but there was a leak. There was a, I don't know which leak they're talking about. I'm sure there's a bunch because that's how they roll. But anyway, so there had been a breach. Um, let me see. The, according to Express UK, a copy of the ruling that was heard on Thursday, March 24th, had been emailed to someone outside of Harry's legal team. 
by someone who was part of his legal team. The judge presiding over the case, Mr. Justice Swift, labeled the move entirely unacceptable and added it should have been obvious that what happened was a breach. He went on to say, at the very least, it should have been obvious that it needed to be reported to the judge to me as soon as possible. It is also unacceptable you came without an apology. So she took full responsibility, but she didn't apologize. Whatever. Um, so now what that leak is, I don't know. But now it, they are proven leakers. So now misinformation Harry, otherwise known as enemy of the truth Harry, uh, he can't get jobs because people think he's filled with information. You know, he can't, whatever. Uh, no charities want to work with him. And now they're proven leakers of stories. What this one is, I don't know. But once a leaker, always a leaker. Once a liar, always a liar. Once a uh, misinformation peddler, always a misinformation peddler. Um, let's see if there was any... Copy of it was rule, um, emailed, the judge is mad. She said the Duke, the lawyer for the Duke said she and her team were unsure whether about whether sending the draft last week was a breach, um, blah, blah, blah. So, okay, so last week was this breach, a leak. Okay, so there's another leak that I think everyone's forgotten about, but they're admitted leakers. So then I want to take us to this article here, everything to know about Prince Harry's fight for security in the UK, royal exit lawsuit, and more. So we're going to walk through a timeline here now. I love the historical record. This was written on February 18th, 2022. And we know that Us Magazine is a propaganda outlet for the enemies of the truth. Prince Harry in inherited a security risk at, at birth for life, blah, blah, blah. He remained sixth in the line to the throne, served two tours of combat duty, but his feelings are hurt in Afghanistan. And in recent years, not recently, recent years, his family has been subjected to well-documented neo-Nazi extremist threats. Now, I do think there was like a a Nazi, like an actual Nazi group going after him a couple of years ago, I think. So those were actual neo-Nazi statements in recent years, not recently, or not just regular people. Words are very important. Um, that his statement said. While his role in the institution, you know, um, two years prior, they stepped down. The couple later moved to North America where they began to personally fund a private security team for their family. whoop -dee. So, in January 2020, Harry and Meghan announced their plans to step back from their senior royal roles with the Duke later sitting down with his grandmother and father in the UK to discuss the next steps. According to the couple's January 2022 statement, the question of security was brought up during these talks, but Harry's offer to pay for an independent team was dismissed. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. So they did discuss the the security in Sandringham. They did discuss that he wasn't going to keep it. He did at well, he's saying he did ask for it. So um, back in January, back whenever they were doing this, what was it have been? Um, July, uh, December 2019 ish, I guess, or January 2020, something around there. Um, he brought it up. They said no. So they didn't cut it off like they said in Oprah. Well, he just cut it off out of nowhere. I was, I was shocked. And how was I, I, I going to pay for it? I didn't have any money. Well, wait a minute, prick. 
They told you your security, according to your own statement, they told you you weren't going to get security and no, you couldn't fund it. So Prick Harry had the money. If he offered to pay for it, then he had the money to pay for it. Instead of, you know, crying, poor me, literally and figuratively, they cut my security off out of nowhere. And I had no money, so I had to take on all these deals. I couldn't pay for it. What was I going to do? Well, he knew that he could pay for it. He offered to pay for it. Then the, another problem is, and this is always, you know, our, my angle uh, angles are, well, he's a liar, but this always has to do with us, but particularly now, Yankee Wally mostly, but Taz and Murphy Mick. So back then he wanted, so back then he didn't feel safe enough to, and they hadn't announced it yet. And he still didn't feel safe enough to just have, you know, American private security or whoever, whatever he was thinking of at the time, didn't think that that was, um, you know, going to cover it enough. So that has nothing to do with Yankee Wally and everything years ago, knowing him knowing that he needs extra security, isn't going to feel safe without it. So that's out the window. All of the shit that they say is out the window. He knew he felt already before they even announced that they quit, that it wasn't going to be enough. Not just now, not just because of Yankee Wally and Murky Meg and these reports. And he had the money to pay for it. Or he wouldn't have offered. Enemy of the truth, Harry. Misinformation, Harry, is long gone. It's just uh, enemy of the truth, Harry. Oops. So then we have March 2021... Um, this is just, you know, Oprah. And then Megan says, it's really, it was really hard. This went on for the last few months of our pregnancy where I'm going, hold on a second. How does that work? So her pregnancy her the last pregnancy with Archie, I believe she's talking about Archie now. So what year was Archie born? 2019. So they were already talking about this while she was pregnant with Archie before they even told. So where is this? This is just spinning. But anyway, you get what I'm saying. The, so maybe her and Harry were talking about it. Maybe the royal family didn't know or they did. I don't know. So that was going on while I'm at the end of pregnancy. And she says, hold on a second. How does that work? If he's not going to be a prince, he needs to be safe. Well, I would think you know, he'll become a prince, as we've all later found out. I know more about how the British monarchy works thanks to all of their lies in the Oprah interview than I could have ever even have imagined. He'll become a prince when Queen Elizabeth sadly passes. But I would think that Archie or anybody is safer not being a prince than if they are a prince. If he's a prince, that bounty on his head is going to go way higher than just being related. If he's just some kid like they they want him to be, he's not it. I'm not saying he's not in danger. He's not in as much danger if he's not a prince. So that's out the fucking window. Then we have July 2021 here. Um, one month after he and Megan welcomed their daughter Lily, the f uh oh, the former military pilot traveled across the pond for his for unveiling a statue of dedicated to his mother. Now, okay, here we go. I just thought of something else. Let me just finish. His security was compromised due to the absence of police protection during his visit to the UK Harry's January 2022 statement alleged now i actually didn't put this in there was one for in when he went so prince harry it said 
Prince Harry had government protection for, I'm going to have to put that on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, I can't find it, but I'll just tell you about it. I believe that somewhere in this article or wherever, I believe Prick Harry had protection, government protection or royal security or whatever, for Prince Philip's funeral. I think I saw that somewhere. So it's like a, an official royal thing, which this going to Princess Diana's thing wasn't an official royal thing. Prince Philip's thing was. And I think I saw he had protection for that. So then wouldn't he have protection for this memorial? And then wouldn't he have protection for the jubilee? So... He doesn't have protection for shit that he wants to do and this and the charities that he wants to work for, but he did have it for Prince Philip's thing. So he should have it for the memorial and he should have it for, he's just, and he should have it for, um, the Jubilee. So he's just lying that, well, I can't go because of the protection. Well, so they've made this case now to seem to be a just general protection overall if he goes. No, I guess, bet you he wants royal protection for the shit that he wants to do. The, the, the charities and stuff that now no one wants to work for. So there's another one. So there we are. Um, <clears throat> wow. Yeah, he's using these statements. Oh, I just can't go because of the security. I just can't go, period. When if you go back, he had it for Prince Philip's funeral. I think I saw that. I could be wrong, but I don't. I doubt that I'm just pulling that out of nowhere. And I'm in the middle of this video, so I can't. But I believe I said so. There's another enemy of the truth, Harry, for everyone. So October 2021. The pair, and now this is listed within all these articles now, this or was within this article that was written in February now after the, all this has come out. So we're a part of this security thing. I wonder what exactly is in this thing that's going to be kept secret. But anyway, October 2021. The pair who have frequently been the pair who have been frequently vocal about the potential dangers of social media were reportedly the subjects of focused negative Twitter activity per analysis by the platform bot Sentinel, a company that tracks the habits of fake accounts. Well, we're not fake accounts. We're hate accounts. But, <laughs> Harry, Harry, Harry went on to reference the well-documented neo-Nazi extremist threats both he and his wife have experienced in his 2022 statement regarding his struggle for security. So, he said there were these neo, real neo-Nazis, I think, threats in recent years, not recently, but now. So we're written in an article here about his fight for his security. We're in here. And our little paragraph has us as neo-Nazis. Now, whether the, the writer meant to do that or not, I don't know, but I'm a, I'm a reader and I'm allowed to see it as, oh, somebody's going to read, oh, well, there's these... Twitter accounts that are neo-Nazis threatening him because that's the storyline. That's he needs that. So, um, well-documented neo-Nazi neo and extremist threats. Well, those didn't come through Twitter as far as this report went. Christopher Boozy, while has said a lot of things about all of us, the reports did. I don't recall Christopher Boozy saying we are neo-Nazis. Precarious is. So then we have uh, Jack Royston on 119. Wait till you guys get, uh, get to the end of this. You're never going to believe it. Meghan Markle and Prick Harry begin 2022 on the offensive. 
I'll say. That was written on 119, 2022. Then I'm going to just jump here real quick to the, this, so then this is the Us Weekly article here on the left, February 2022. Harry's attorney, Shahid Fatima, said during a preliminary hearing at the Royal Courts of Justice that Harry does not feel safe bringing his kids to the UK, saying, of course, well, have those kids been threatened by neo-Nazis? They could have, I'm not aware of them. Or is just Prince Harry has, and that's been documented. Anyway, it's dizzying, folks. Of course, it should go without saying he wants to come back to see family and friends and to continue the support, uh, continue to support charities that are close to his heart. Most of all, this and is this is and always will be his home so that in february they said that right now i gotta go back to january but in february they said he wants to do his charity stuff over there well and then it just goes back to prove that that's why he can't so he, he can go to prince prince philip's memorial and have the security because he got it for the funeral but he wants to do this charity stuff, and he doesn't get to do his charity stuff. But then here we go now. In the article, in his lot article that came out two days ago, in the mail, in his new lawsuit, against, or the daily, the Sunday mail, which Sunday mail, I guess, it states in this lawsuit, readers were given blah, 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 blah. They got hostility. And I'll put that video, there will be a couple videos in the thing. As well as causing the Duke stress and emotional upset, his lawyers claim it also under, undermines charitable and philip, philanthropic work, particularly his efforts to tackle Mail Online. So, Prick Harry probably got word that these charities don't want anything to do with you because that's what... His lawyers are saying that charities, people don't want to work with him. His reputation's garbage. And, and they don't want to work with him. But back in February, he wanted to go and do work with these charities. Well, somebody told him to go fuck himself, right? And that his reputation is in, in the garbage. So now he's got to go after the mail I mean, it, again, this is, I'm just pulling apart even more as I'm reading this. February, he wants to be with the charities. Now in March, he's suing the mail because it's their fault that these charities don't want to work with them because they published a thing saying that, an article saying that he, they've damaged him because he, because they said he's trying to keep a court case secret, which he just won a, a, a judgment today to keep it secret. And he can't work with these charities, but in, in February, you know, uh, 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 okay. All right. <laughs> so on to the next one. So there's all that. Now, he wants to go to support the charities. He can't get the security for the charities. Now the charities don't want to work with him. It's the male's fault for publishing a story that he wants to keep his court thing private. But he won today to keep it private. Make it make sense, misinformation, enemy of the truth, Harry. Make it make sense. But it's going to get worse, folks. So then in January 2022... After a story was published in a UK tabloid with surreptitious timing, Harry issued a statement about his desire for higher quality protection. The UK will always be Prince Harry's home and country he wants his wife and children to be safe in. Well, his wife doesn't want to go. He has to know that. I'm sure that Meghan has told this dude, dude, I don't want to go. So he needs to quit making it about putting that on her. I know she doesn't want to go. 
<laughs> so stop making about her. Make it about you. So anyway, I have another video to do about him and her. And actually, who is the asshole? Both assholes, but who's the bigger one? I'm starting to, you know, I'm almost starting to feel sorry for Meghan Markle. But that's another story for another time. Um, the statement concluded, With the lack of police protection comes too great a personal risk. Prince Harry hopes that his petition, after close to two years of pleas, two years for security in the UK, will resolve this situation. Well, I thought in the Oprah interview, he just wrote it off. You know, he never said in that Oprah interview, I'm suing the government to do this. He left that. They, I'm just thinking about that now. He left that out. It was all a secret. He left that out. Oh my God, it's, uh, it's, it's dizzying. And these are statements. So back to, now we're going to go back to, all right? His attorneys now have been proven leakers. They leaked something else last week, but they're proven leakers. And then the, oh God, I hope everybody's keeping up because I don't want to have to repeat it. All right, so they're proven leakers. When did this story come out? When did we find out about this story that he was even doing this? Now, just to remind you, in October 2021, the first report came out. Harry, that's mentioned in there. That's mentioned in his in his uh, doc documents because it says it. Right. But when did we find out that he was even doing this? It was leaked on January 16th, if everybody will recall. That's how we found it. it just came out of nowhere. Here's a few, just a couple Sussex Squad things I grabbed. Let's guess who leaked the security thing. I have a feeling it is, and then that egg is referring to Prince William. She wrote that on January 16th. So it's been acknowledged there has been a leak. Who's the who's now the proven leakers? The person who ordered the story to be leaked, and I did a video on this too. I mean, there's they'll all be in the box. The person who ordered the story to be leaked was blinded by incan incandescent rage. Well, I'll say so, Harry's King's Guard. Who leaked this? I thought Harry's lawyers did. Well, that's well, that's who I thought did it. And now we, based on their admit admission of leaking, so, and then poppy rates. Nope. Someone from home office leaked it to the Daily Fail and they wrote an article of lies. Harry's lawyers released a statement afterwards setting the record straight. Wow. These people, people have short memories. I have a terrible short-term memory. My long-term memory is good. And then just having, you know, everybody being dragged through this, you know, and people get busy and then they can't put the pieces together. Thank goodness there's YouTubers that do it. And that's why the YouTubers have to be taken off. Uh, January 16th. They were not the ones who leaked. It was the palace. It was the palace. Learn to read. Well, it's starting to look a little different today now, isn't it? And one writes, see, they leaked to the press a reason why he's releasing a statement. Okay, sorry, I got interrupted if I repeat this. See, they leaked to the press reason why he's reason why he's releasing a statement. Give me back my bodyguards. Prick Harry threatens legal action against the UK and demands return of taxpayer funded security. Two years after making drama begin. Well, no, he, he started the proceedings, according to all this stuff, two years ago. It's just a thing. This The date got cut off. Prince Harry in legal fight to pay for UK police protection. 
The UK will always be his home. So Prick Harry's been working on this for two years. Two and a half years, I guess now. Didn't mention it in the Oprah interview. Um, suing a newspaper because they said he's trying to keep it quiet when he is, has been for two years, and he won a, he won a judgment to keep it quiet. Um, where, where, where he gets it for Prince, well, um, Prince Philip's funeral, but now, and he can't go, now these charities don't want to work with him, he wants to go for the charity. I mean, so then here's just some more headlines from January 15th. Prince Harry seeks judicial review for right to pay for his family's UK thing. Now they're making it all seem like this just happened. And these people may have thought it would just happen, but more and more is coming out. January 17th, the British government won't allow Prince Harry to personally pay for his stuff. Prince Harry says, give me back my bodyguards, uh, January 15th. So these were on a Saturday, interestingly enough. Things usually don't come out on Saturdays, but they had to get ahead of something. Okay, so that came out on a Saturday. Meghan Markle trolls turned hate into estimated $3.5 million industry on YouTube. January 18th, Jack Royston. Now, let's not forget, they're the leakers. It's been going on for two years. Bot Sentinel re releases his, re he releases his report. So Prince Harry's been doing this for two years. Those stories hit on a Saturday. Let me check this. They hit on a Saturday. Nobody, nobody's going to really report it till Monday, which would have been the 17th. The Bot Sentinel report comes out on the 18th. So a story gets leaked. We all knew who did it, but... So, I, and, and I said in one of my other videos, I don't think Christopher Boozy, I think Christopher Boozy's doing what he's supposed to be doing. But I don't think he knows that this has all been planned. And Prince Harry didn't think his uh, security was strong enough back before he even quit when they were talking about it. So it doesn't have anything to do with any reports Christopher Boozy never called us neo-Nazis on Twitter. Called us a lot of other things, but never called us neo-Nazis. Prick Harry's calling us neo-Nazis. Says that's in his report. I mean, if you go back, I just can't even keep, there's so much to keep track of. So anyway, so this report comes out a couple days later after a leak. And they're the known leakers. Focusing on, now I don't know if Christopher Boozy, he, he did a report, it was general, you know, and then he listed all those other YouTube's accounts, but Taz, Murky, Meg, and Yankee Wally were the focus of, of this report. Three British women. Because if it would have been Blair O'Toole, Duchess of Narcissus, and maybe some, you know, the other Americans... That's not going to help Prince Harry's threat level thing in the UK. It's got to be British women. women. All right. So he's had a plan for two years. He's been doing this for two years and it just happens to get leaked. And those other ones are like, oh, it was the palace. It was the home office. No. No, I don't think so. Happens to get leaked right when his this story comes, and then this comes out, three British women are under attack because they can't have American women because that won't help Rick Harry. It's dizzying. The trio, uh, you know, just goes on and on about Yankee, Taz, and Murky. You know, I don't need to read all that. Um, you know, Megan Obsession, Megan Obsession continued, you know, just showing all their videos. Then this one is uh, for 
And Prick Harry keeps making, my wife, I need to make sure, my wife needs to be safe with my wife. His wife doesn't need to go. But Prince Harry's got to make it about Meghan, so then he can try and get, anyway. And then and there is a page, terrorizing, terrorizing Meghan Markle. And then just shows a couple things of what Yankee Wally said. And then in the report, their assessment is they believe several hate accounts pose a credible threat to Harry. Harry and Meghan. Uh, Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Yankee Wally made explicit, explicit threats to Meghan Markle. Criminal record. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. So then all the sugars and all the talk on... Um, on uh, social media then to raise the threat level is oh my god these women and harry needs his security no wonder why he's afraid to go he needs the security he needs the security he needs the security oh i don't think this seems planned at all no not at all and then well so then i did a video And I called it, and this one will be in the description box, Prick Harry's Red Herring. That was back in January, a couple of days when it came out, because it was clear that these three British women were being highlighted and, th and then his thing. And then in, in the video, I will show that um, somebody, a Sussex Squad member, kept telling me to back off, back off. Back off, American. This has nothing to do with you, American. Back off. We don't. We're not going after you, American. S sit down. Stand down, American. So, what did that seem like? You know, Prick Harry keeps seem, seeming since these all have been secret. And we only know what we we know. And I back at the time, I believed that the initial Bot Sentinel report was to um or the to get the social media talk or negative talk numbers on down because megan's business opportunities were suffering because of it that's what i thought and that could have been it partially but prick harry's been trying to build his case or he keeps probably trying to hit road and can then keeps hitting roadblocks and then keeps having to come up with new shit because he's an asshole. And now it's the Daily Mail's or the Mail on Sunday's fault that no charities want to work with him because in, in February he wanted to go for this charities and, and work. <clears throat> I cannot. It's so hard. Enemy of the truth, Harry. No wonder people can't keep up with them. We all know, everybody knows something's wrong. There's so much shit to sift through. That's why it's just hard to, You just they just keep pelting you with new crap every day. Oh, and, he's, and then so it's the Mail on Sunday's fault for all of his problems. So he can't blame us anymore. But I'm sure he will. And then we go back to Prince Harry's lawyers slammed by judge for leaking documents during case. Unacceptable. They're the leakers. They knew that Bot Sentinel report was coming out. Now, whether that was coordinated, I don't know. I'm not going to get into that. It doesn't really even, you know, if Christopher, you know, Christopher Boozy you know, says that he's, he does and he's doing an independent thing. Fine. He says that. But Christopher Boozy had let everybody know when the report was coming out. So everybody at least knew that he, that he made that public. So the law, Prince Harry's lawyers knew or PR team or whoever knew it was coming out. So they leaked the story. And then, um, I don't know why. Uh, let's see. The Duke, the Duke first offered to pay personally for UK police protection at his January 20 Sandringham. Um, and 
and and then his lawyers screwed up. So everybody, they're all trying to cover up their mess ups. Um, I don't remember why I put. No, I might have had that confused for something else. So, if I were Murky Meg, according to Taz and Yankee Wally, especially Yankee Wally, I would sue Prince Harry. For, I mean, I, I'm not a lawyer, and I'd sue him in the United States because he's doing all of this in the United States. And these social media platforms are located in the United States, etc. Yankee Wally and, and Taz and Murky, I mean, it's just, they've been dragged through the mud, mostly Yankee Wally, for something that this kid has been plotting and planning and releasing and did this all at the same time. You know, they could have just had this report come out. Oh, and left out Americans. They listed the other channels, but they so they listed them. Nobody, you know, people are people. They'd rather look at the pictures of people. Three British women. No Americans. His story gets, I mean, I don't need to re release it, but there's been a lot of undue suffering and a lot of, you know, pile on and, and, and Jack Royston and, and, and all of those people, the media and everybody, because Prince Harry made it seem like he's so scared when Yankee Wally doesn't have $2 million a year security, according to Taz. So these three women have been dragged unduly through the mud. We've been called neo-Nazis by Prince Harry, not by Bot Sentinel. Prince Harry called us neo-Nazis. I'd love to know what are in those, it, obviously we're not going to know, but I'd love to know what, what's in those papers. Because he, in one of the back articles, like I said, it's mentioned that that was part of his case, is that report. Christopher Boozy could have independently started his thing, you know, and then Prick Harry could have been like, hey, I can use this, or let's just watch how, the, how this goes. Known leakers, known liars, they did that, they leaked that story to help Prick Harry and ruin these women. I would sue Prince Harry for I, again, I'm not a lawyer. And, you know, you can get a lawyer to just file a complaint. He's not going to want to have to go through that. They'll throw money. I mean, I don't know. I'd fucking sue his ass if I, I would. After seeing this, I would sue him. So those are my messages to you, ladies. I'd sue him in an American court. Because if it, so this looks so bad and just what the video that I'm showing, it looks bad. Imagine how bad it really is. Imagine how bad it really is. Conspiracy. I mean, I don't even know, like, we all know it's wrong. I'm sure there's a law for it. I don't know what the law is, but I know what's wrong is wrong here. All the videos, the, the corresponding videos will be in the description boxes. Um, I just don't even know what to say. Mis misinformation, misinformation, Harry, has long left us. It's enemy of the truth, Harry. And you, you know, it, uh, you know I, I'm not going to name any of these social media platforms out, Uh you know, Harry has relationships with all of them, business or otherwise. Harry's never sent a defamation letter. You know, Prince Harry's, you know, and then and then all the sugars and everybody, oh, Yankee Wally and her tomato. He, no wonder he can't go, really? Some elderly woman with fucking tomatoes? Really? If, that, if this is all this dude has to show the threat level, there is no threat level. He just doesn't want to pay for his security. Or he didn't feel safe. I mean, I can't even, or he didn't feel that it was good enough back then, but he could afford it back then. But then they said that 
he sprung it on them. I, I can't repeat it. So those are my, I would be happy to help in any way, shape, or form that I can. But you three need to sue him. 100%. So looking for your looking forward to your comments. If you like my channel, please subscribe, hit the like and notification buttons. Definitely, definitely, definitely looking forward to the comments. See ya.